popping, you beautiful humans. My name is Ariane Andrew. I'm Matt Dillon, and welcome to another piping hot episode of Sipping the Tea, where we are. Uh... Sip the tea, and our guests spill that tea. tea. Yes. yes. Well, we may have started it at eight, but that was definitely a five. But... <laughs> Who do we got over here? We got Miss Mama Girl. We have Glitty. And let me tell you, I'm in love with you. I'm in love with our next guest. And the world is starting to catch on. They're falling in love too. Mr. Elliot Jones. What's up, baby? Hi. Hi. Thank Poppin'. you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Ooh, Thank you for nice. bringing your tunes. That was his new single, I'm In Love, that we just let in with the dancing. So uh, let's get into it. We want to know yes. a little bit about let's it. Let's do it. Yes, we're going to dive deep. Let's <clears throat> take it back. Okay. All right. <laughs> so let's take us back on your journey. Mm -hmm. You're originally from Toronto. So mm -hmm. tell us like the journey from coming from Toronto to California and your passion for music. How did it all start? Spill it, boo. Um, so yeah, I, I was growing up in Toronto. I was always like, um, I was always the kid who was like looking for attention. Like that was like really? my, <laughs> really? <laughs> Shocker, I know. No, I was like, you know, putting on shows in the basement and like my parents, I would have my parents' friends like sit around and like watch me do like some number to like God knows what song and like, <laughs> um, you know, I was like the, the performer, the choreographer, like the... I was just crazy. I was like, they didn't want to come over anymore because they were like, that kid's psycho. Like, we do not want to go over there. To and you were house. charging them, right? Yeah. yeah that's oh, right. yeah. They didn't want to come I over. Was, I like, was, I'm not paying any money for that. I was the promoter, too. Yeah. I was the whole thing. Thanks. But um, so, yeah, when my mom kind of saw that, because um, I was begging her to get me an agent, so she kind of put me into acting and, and things like that. So I was doing that for a long time. And then when high school was kind of wrapping up, that's when I kind of got this idea that I was going to do music j just because. I was kind of sick of like reciting other people's like lines mm -hmm. and I wanted to you know I just felt like I had so much to say myself that I needed like an outlet to express that and that was kind of music and then um from there I just had this like crazy idea that I was like I'm gonna go to New York and like you know be a star hey. <laughs> and um that was uh that was an adventure <laughs> I was there for two years before I came out here for the first time for um some writing sessions in the summer and then I kind of like really found my place here, and that's how I ended up in California. Cali, wow, Cali. Cali. The place yeah. of dreams. It really that's very is. prosthetic in terms of like you wanting to find your own voice uh -huh. and actually being able to do that through your music, which yeah. segues into, you know, you've had single after single. The streams are like crazy right now, 100,000, mm -hmm. like things are going so well. Mm -hmm. So I want to lead into the current single that's like, Jumping up, jumping up. I'm mm -hmm. in love. So let's let's start. Are you in love? Who did you write that about? Give us a little you bit of. Spill that yeah, tea. I want to know the tea, honey. And if you're not in love, what are you looking for in love? Yeah, no, I'm I'm very much solo, very solo. Bad and slow, though. <laughs> yeah. No, if anyone wants to like slide in the DMs, Oops. it's happening at the end, <laughs> right, right there, here. right there. Right there. At I'm Elliot Jones. <laughs> Can you have it like edited like a YouTube channel? <laughs> We sure will. We got you, boo. We're we'll just have it come up right here. So they can slide into yeah, your yeah, 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 stream yeah. your song all yeah. at the same time. Uh -huh. <laughs> so give us a background on the song. What's what's the uh, you know yeah. the genesis? Um, no, I wrote it. I'm def I, I was definitely was not in love when I wrote that song. I wrote it more kind of like as a tribute to like I'm I'm I, I fall very deep really quick. Okay. So I kind of wrote it like as a tribute to that feeling, like when you first meet someone mm. and you know, like when I think love, I think like something like serious and you really care about that person and it's, you know, you love that person. And then this song is more about like lust or just like that crazy, like, you know, like sweats and butterflies and, and um, that kind of feeling, which is why the song is like as crazy. You know, I wanted it to sound very like psychedelic and hazy and um, it's a little filthy. Yeah. It has a filthy vibe to it. Yeah. But it's, then it's like this young buck over right? here. Uh -huh. <laughs> It's a nice juxtaposition, though, and I uh -huh. think it's I think it's starting to resonate with people. So it's and like I hope. good yeah. for you. Yeah. No, I was really I had a really good feeling about this one when I was writing and I was making it when I was, um, you know, I had a really clear vision for this one, and I'm I think people are getting it, which I'm really happy about. Yeah. This dog is giving me some killer face right now. Here, man, <laughs> she's coming for you. <laughs> she's like she's in love. By you and <laughs> she's like, ready. So I love we gotta that. ask, what do you look for? When yeah. you are thinking about when they're sliding in. <laughs> when they're sliding, <laughs> when they're sliding in. Like, what are you, what are you <laughs> oh God, no. <laughs> um, oh, oh, what am I looking for? Yeah, um, and a significant other. Like excitement and fun. I think that's really important. Someone who's um, funny. 
I don't know. I'm really young, so I, I feel like I don't know that much about like what I am looking for. In life. And that's so. honest. And but I I love the yeah, honesty because but... you know you are a young buck, so you're still trying to mm -hmm. you know find your place in this world. Is nothing wrong with that? Yeah. <laughs> no. No. I'm figuring out figuring it out as I go along, and uh, yeah, that's I mean. The next single will <laughs> have the details of what I'm looking for because I don't know. That's so know. funny, but I feel like you found yourself a good, you know, a good grounding in surrounding yourself with amazing people. We've had a lot of mm -hmm. your mutual mm -hmm. musicians on, and that's how I found your music. And mm -hmm. I was like, this. I think you're in a core group of people that mm -hmm. I really admire too. That the way you all support each other. Mm -hmm. It's like this underground movement of actual real people doing real shit. Mm -hmm. There's mm -hmm. a lot of people that like, I want to do this, I want to do that. And y'all are collectively it doing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think it's, talk us through that. Like, that must be a wonderful feeling to know that you have kind of like, you know, somebody to lean on in a time if you need it. Yeah. Um, no, it's like crazy to hear you, you know, say, say it like that because it sounds like really exciting. But it's really just like, like friends making music. I don't know. Like you called it a movement. Like, but wow. It is a movement. <laughs> it is a movement. Yeah. Like no, I definitely feel like I'm part of something here, which is super cool because, you know, when I would, you know, for a long time, I felt like I couldn't, you know, I didn't have my people. I didn't mm -hmm. know, like, you know, I, I wasn't really part of something. So it is cool to come out here and, and um, be a part of something. It's really fun. And, uh, you know, I genuinely love, like, my friend's music. You know what I mean? I love, like, seeing other people um, make their art and make something that's authentic to them because I always think it's like really interesting to think about like what a person's music would sound like if they made music like if everybody made music what you know what I mean like? it's so unique I yeah know what your sounds like coming out stank walk yeah <laughs> am I hearing it do um, I get a sneak peek oh in 2020 but well, not tonight. I haven't recorded it not yet. Today. Oh, okay, yes. okay. So you can yes. check that Spotify. It's hard to find, but there is a track out there, honey. <laughs> okay, well, you'll <laughs> have to share it. This is not about me right now. <laughs> back to you, me. young back buck. Back to you. So, uh -huh. collaborate. See how supportive I am right away? I'm just like, wh where's I, the link? <laughs> I'm already in love with you because mama's, mama's done. There you go. So sweet. Wow. Mama found her another baby. And the teeth. <laughs> She's serving love. She needs to see really, mom. though. <laughs> honey, she needs a little bit of work done. Okay, so getting back on track here. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you do have these group of people that, you know, are super supportive. Beside them, is there anybody out there that you would love to do a collab mm. with? Mm. I'd love to write with Lana Del Rey. Uh, I see, I see, yeah. There's a little I, melancholy in what you do. Uh... A little bit, yeah. I'm very inspired by like some very melancholic acts, and uh, even though I make kind of like this, you know, even though I make pop music, I'm very yeah. like lyrically inspired by um, her music and, and music like that. But yeah, I just think she's so cool. I saw her at the at the Hollywood Bowl. Um, actually, the day my single came out, that's how we celebrated. Um, okay. We saw Lana at Hollywood Bowl, and um, she had like this huge fireworks show. It was like Disney World, but um. It's what was the question? Oh yeah, why? <laughs> why I wanted to collaborate with her? No, I just yeah, like, yeah. like who? So why, that's not? Person, why not? Put she's, it in the yeah, no, she's really inspiring to me. I, I like grew up with her music, and um, I just think she has like a really cool vibe. I don't know. Yeah, I think she it'd does. be really yeah. great. Yeah, she does. Uh -huh. And Tame Impala. That's another one that I'd okay. love to work with. Yeah. All right, I that, see yeah. you over here. That was like, another big inspiration for I'm in Love, Tame Impala. I like the fact that you're. <laughs> at such a young age, heavily involved in your own future. Like you're putting the, the foundations yourself. Mm -hmm. And it's it's really nice to hear you speak about it because I was like, oh, no, you're like, break the layers down. You ha It's in the back of your mind exactly the skeleton of what you're doing. So it's like, mm -hmm. you know, you're leading with authenticity and, and gut, but it's also like you have the, you know, a business plan in the back. Yeah. I can say, yeah. you know, it's to a degree, uh -huh. to a degree, because I can see you talk so like, you get it. Which I think is really, really important. You know, it's. I wish I had that mindset. Right, it's, it's, you know, because I, I, I'm a youngin too. <laughs> but exactly. So wait, exactly. is there any secrets of like anything else that you're working on? Because you know, you said you initially started with acting, and then you were like, I kind of, I want to write my own stuff. I'm uh -huh. tired of reading other people's lines. Is there anything yeah. else that you can spill to us that uh, maybe is in the works, or some things that you plan on working on in the future? Um, like it's very. Uh, music focused at okay. the moment. Yeah. You mean like, I don't know, I'll have some merch or something coming <laughs> up. 
I mean, I don't know. Link my I mean, merch, I guess. Like. You know how it is when you're in the entertainment business, how you're mm-hmm. able to like go to different things. I mean, yeah. Which would be open to that. Yeah, like maybe you're like, I'm going to write my own stuff. I'm going to write my own script and produce my own, you know. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, in the future, the acting, maybe. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Blend. With the creativity. Yeah, I don't know if I've lived enough to like have a, like a biopic. <laughs> so I'm, I'll I'm write something right someday. Now, yeah. He says if I haven't lived enough, I was like, I've lived too much. Bah. <laughs> <laughs> Like being an entertainer, mm-hmm. there's a lot, especially being a creator and yeah. writing your own stuff and coming from the acting world. You know, sometimes you'd be like, yeah. hey, there's still some other little nuggets yeah. that I plan on, uh-huh. you know, contributing. I, I will say I do love modeling. Like, um, yeah. you know, I, a lot of my close friends are photographers. Okay. And, um, you know, like I loved shooting the cover art for for my songs. And anytime someone like just wants to shoot, I love doing that. So, you know, I haven't like, cons- that's not like a main focus point that I've considered, but um, I do love like being in front of the yeah, camera like the, that. The face work, the camera. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> do you see me like watching I watching know, myself I, on I the side? I, I keep like, glancing. It's good, but it's good. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to make sure. Wait, hold, let's give him a second to make sure. Ready? And go. Ready? Go. Five, four, three, two, up, one. Bam! 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 Uh, uh. I will say it's funny. The artwork for your singles, those particularly, I'm in love. I can see that now, though. It's mm-hmm. it's like such a simplistic model, but it's like it's striking. I could, you know. Mm-hmm. With that, with your attitude, I can definitely say whatever you want. Yeah. Because you're not afraid to ask for it. Mm, wow. Exactly. I feel that. Yeah. You're, you're putting your music out there on your own merit. So, uh-huh. you know what I mean? To, for somebody to do that. I want to touch on... That means a lot to hear that. The, um, <laughs> the concept also, and it's in terms of the collective of friends and what have you. Mm-hmm. Heavily being, you know, LGBTQ, do you feel like that following... That you ha- you kind of like a building a following and that look up to you is that like as you get older because you're growing as well mm. is that a weird dynamic of like you have people that follow your music and are like oh my god they're looking up to you and then you're like well I'm like six months older you know what I mean that mm-hmm. dynamic of that how mm-hmm. does, how do you, how does that sit with you um, the fandom fandom <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know I think I like to look up to people that are genuine you know like i know the people that i like don't have everything together you know Mm -hmm. so um i think you know as long as i'm you know the way i said it like i'm just figuring stuff out as i go along when it comes to like love or music or you know like side projects or whatever just like the future and um i think that's just more relatable and more honest than being like you know this is the answer this is exactly it and this is you know so um no, I, yeah. we can appreciate, you know, the thing is uh-huh. you don't have all the answers just yeah. because you're still trying to figure it out. And especially uh-huh. at a young age, I mean, you've already are making your mark and it's like mm-hmm. the future holds so much. It's actually refreshing to, for you to be like, I don't know yet. Mm-hmm. I am just figuring it out. And that is OK. And that's that's being authentic. And there's yeah. nothing wrong with that. And I feel like I put a lot of that in my music, too. I mean, um, yeah, if people relate to like my lyrics and my music, that's like the most important thing. I think. And then sometimes I like, you know, like putting my thoughts on Twitter and having it retweeted. <laughs> That's <Okay>. good too. <laughs> you know what? We're going to go ahead and um, we're going to end it on a little Let's note. Let's do some, some uh, rapid, fire. rapid fire, girl. Let's yes, do it. You have All right, girl. You know I never have the rapid fire. Me, so I'm me, sorry. You pull up. Let me I was trying it. to like get ahead of the ball game. Yes, nope. I was like, are you over there text messages? No, I was, ve- it was like, hold on, be right back. I got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was very interested in this young man. So we're going to do Deeper than uh, that's on the... Deeper More than you the, thought, yeah. Yeah. That, it's weird because I can get really deep real quick. <laughs> also, these innuendos are really going somewhere else. So let's get a rapid fire. <laughs> well, we can't have that because um, if you had to be stuck in the world with one person, who would you pick? Hands down, Rihanna. Ooh, okay. Your poor mother. Um, <laughs> she does, she not happy. Oh, it was, just, it was supposed to be a family member, wasn't it? No, no, it, no. that's the rapid that, fire. So shame on you, yeah, young man. <laughs> oh, here's, I like number one. Okay. How long does it take to get ready? Ooh, half an hour, including the shower. Oh, that's quick. That's yeah. Really quick. That's, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I don't, yeah, these curls fall naturally. <laughs> <laughs> I just parted in the middle and then I call just, it a day. I just woke up like this. He's like, Pretty I'm much. here. I'm ready. And I put this necklace on and, and get out. Go. Yeah. And the last question is, um, hmm, paper or plastic? That's so random. <laughs> <laughs> paper? What? 100%. It's rapid fire. Just it's California. <laughs> Who would say plastic to that? 
I, I always get the plastic utensil sent with Uber. Shame. Oh, <laughs> On that, that note. note. <laughs> well, we appreciate you coming out yeah, today and so uh, spilling some tea with us. We're going to do a mm -hmm. little cheersy. Cheersy, cheersy. And then for everyone who's living under a rock, I want you to look right there. I'm going to flip you around. You're going to look you're at that lens it. there. Plug your social media, where people can follow you where at. Where do we find you? Music, the whole nine. Right there. Um, yeah, Elliot Jones on Spotify. I'm Elliot Jones on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And uh, yeah, we're all. They can find your music too. Oh, anywhere Spotify, Apple Music, um, anywhere you stream. Okay. Ooh, yeah, stream, iTunes. Streaming services. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys can follow me across the board at Ariane Andrew and this little nugget at Glitty Glitch. Stay awake today, guys. You can follow me at Matt Dillon 1983. And uh, I guess Mama's got a new baby daddy every time she comes to set. <laughs> she hooks him in, honey. Hook him in. Hook him in. All right, guys. Until next week, you can catch us on Sipping the Tea every Tuesday. Yeah, you got the wrong number. Click.